And tonight we're getting closer to normal in the city and the state with both moving to the final phase before full reopening. And that means the summer plans are back in full swing like Chicago's famous festivals. Let's get right to Brittany Garzillo live downtown with the latest. Brittany. Natalie and Anthony, yesterday Variety Magazine reported that Lollapalooza will return to Grant Park this summer. And now we've learned that two more festivals will be happening in Chicago this year. It's official. Riot Fest will return to Douglas Park this September. The annual Outdoor Music Fest will be held the weekend of September 17th with headliners Nine Inch Nails, The Smashing Pumpkins, and Run the Jewels. Three-day passes are already sold out. Spring Awakening, an electronic music festival, is scheduled for October 2nd and 3rd in Adams Medill Park. This as Illinois entered the bridge phase of Governor Pritzker's reopening plan, the step before full reopening. Under the phase, expanded capacity limits for businesses, dining, gatherings, and more. Retail stores, health and fitness centers, and museums are among those that can increase to 60% capacity. It's so exciting that we got through this year and that we're here. We made it and we're here to celebrate. Some celebrated this taste of normalcy at a bite-sized version of Long Grove's Chocolate Festival. The event, called For the Love of Chocolate, runs through the weekend and features more than a dozen chocolate vendors, chocolate sculptures, and live music. Should be a great weekend to come out and just bring the family, bring the friends, and enjoy town. We're excited, you know, um, and we're going to keep going out. The governor hopes to fully reopen the state on June 11th. We now continue our team coverage with Nate Rogers, who is live in the West Loop with the challenges that restaurants are now facing as capacity limits increase. Nate. That's right, Brittany. As you can tell behind me, the West Loop right now is bustling with so many. Excited to be outside enjoying some food and possibly a cocktail. But for those business owners we've talked to there, many of them are working so hard to return to normal um, following the pandemic. At Smoke Daddy's Barbecue along West Division, things appear to be running smoothly. Patrons today enjoying good food and the great temps, but the restaurant is also facing a few major challenges. It's brutal right now. Um, we you know, opening 100% at a few of our restaurants, we don't have the service staff or the bus staff or the host staff to actually do it. Um, people aren't coming back to work. Beyond staffing shortages, business owners must now consider updated mask guidelines. During the bridge phase, Chicago restaurants and bars can operate at 75% capacity indoor and outdoor, and those fully vaccinated will not count toward capacity limits. But how do you check? Is that a picture on someone's phone of their vax card? Do they have to actually have their vax card? Uh, you know. Are my hostesses now doorman? I think uh, MASH should still be encouraged. Uh, we don't know who's vaccinated and unvaccinated, and the more that we work together on keeping our community safe, the faster it will open up and get back to normal. At Rue Chicago, they're grateful just to see more foot traffic. Wait staff continue to wear masks, tables are spread six feet apart, and even with the updated guidelines, temperature checks are still required at the door. Perfect. When they sit, uh, they are, if they're eating and drinking, uh, they can take the mask out, but when they interact with our team, they put the mask on. Mask or not, this family is simply happy just to be out and about. So many new places that we can go because the entire last summer we were just stuck at home. So I think it's, uh, it's something that we're really looking forward to. Now, the owners of Smoke Daddy, they actually own about eight other restaurants throughout the Chicagoland er area. Um, earlier this week, they had a job fair just to recruit more workers because they were so, um, they did not have enough people to work. And they tell me attendance at that job fair was, in fact, poor. They're hoping, though, that things will get back to normal soon. We're live in the West Loop. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 News.